A hydrothermal vent is a fissure in the planet's surface from which geothermally heated water is spewed from. They are commonly found near volcanically active places, areas where plates are moving, ocean basins, and hot spots. There are two types of hydrothermal vents, black smokers and white smokers. Black smokers are warmer and spew out mainly sulfides and iron. White smokers are much cooler and do not contain metal. They exist because the earth is geologically active and has a large amount of water below or on its crust. Hydrothermal vents are located all around the world at an average depth of 2,100 meters. There is a large group of vents off the west coast of South Africa and another off the east coast of Australia. The water temperature around a hydrothermal vent is 2 degrees Celsius. However, the water that is spewed from the vent can be as warm as 464 degrees Celsius. Cold water is absorbed into the fissure in the soil, where it is heated by molten material. As the water heats up, it begins to rise and search for an exit. The exit is a vent spewing nutrient-rich water out. As a result, the soil is very rich in nutrients, and because of all the sediment, that has been spewed from the vent. Limiting factors are the lack of light and the difference in water temperatures. The lack of light means that the ecosystem must find another way to produce, because photosynthesis requires light. The alternative is chemosynthesis, which is the synthesis of organic compounds by bacteria or other organisms using energy derived from reaction involving inorganic chemicals. The main producer is the chemosynthetic bacteria, which all other organisms live around. The bacteria uses the metals and minerals from the water for chemosynthesis. The other organisms, like snails, crabs, tube worms, and fish, feed off this bacteria. Organisms like the tube worm have adapted by being able to absorb nutrients through their tissues, eliminating the need for a mouth or an anus. Giant tube worms are also the fastest growing invertebrate in the ocean. Another adaptation is the eyeless shrimp. Replacing its eyes, the shrimp has sensitive spots on its head that it uses to detect heat. A common symbiotic relationship in hydrothermal vents is the relationship between a tube worm and bacteria. The tube worm provides the bacteria with a safe place to live while the bacteria provides the tube worm with organic carbon. Plant life is very limited because of the lack of light. The plants would be unable to obtain their nutrients by photosynthesis. Therefore, they are unable to survive. Human activities do reach down this far, with benthic habitats being affected by the disposal of litter into the ocean and the ocean acidification. Even though the disposal of trash in the ocean was banned in 1972, we are still feeling the effects today. There is an accumulation of plastics at the bottom of the ocean, and as they degrade, they are being consumed by animals. The consumption of plastic is dangerous because the animal has the feeling of being full even when they aren't, so they are deprived of the nutrients they need to survive. Ocean acidification is affecting all realms of the ocean not just the benthic habitats. The acidification of the ocean is harmful to a vent because the pH is already so low. The average pH of a vent is around 3, similar to that of vinegar. If the levels decreased any further, it would become more acidic than an organism could handle. Unfortunately, we know so little about the deep sea that we are unsure of all the effects humans are having on the ocean. We have only sampled such a small portion of what the ocean has to offer. We are yet unsure of everything humans have done that we do not know about. There are currently no endangered species that reside in hydrothermal vents. A scenario in which many vent species could become endangered would be an increase in deep water mining. As of now, there are large deposits on land. Once those are used up, we will turn to deep water mining. This could prove to be destructive to hydrothermal vents. There is still very little known about hydrothermal vents because they were only discovered in 1977. But as we learn more, we will be better able to understand this ecosystem.